to part two of this Crazy Talk Animator 3 tutorial on how to create your own animated facial features. So in the first part, we added the normal sprites for the default, inside the default folders. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add the rest of the sprites for both the eyes and the mouth. So let's go in here and you can see I have my template open, my PSD template, and inside I have several folders. So I'm gonna click on the left eye folder and inside we have up to six different folders and each folder has three different folders inside which is the iris, the eyeball white, and also the mask. So here's a comparison with the sprite editor and you can see what uh, the sprite should look like and then the corresponding folder inside the PSD group. So you're going to have to draw um, the sprites to look like this, a normal uh, sprite with the uh, iris and then closed and squint and everything else. So I created all these sprites before. I have them here and I wish to align them. I want to align them all together so I can position them together just like that. And I'm going to drag this into my, uh, my face here. So remember that I had uh, previously I had the template the base template for the face, which I'm using as a reference. And I draw, I, br I brought in all these iris sprites. So I'm going to put these in their respective folders. So for iris change, I'm gonna bring this into the iris folder. I'm gonna close that. Iris squint, go into eye squint. Okay, scare close, open that folder and inside the subfolder for iris. And I'm gonna do the same for eye close. Go into the iris subfolder. And then the last one is smile close and bring this into the iris subfolder too. Great, so we have this part ready here. What else do we wanna do? Obviously we have to do the same for the right eye. So I'm gonna select the same group, bring it over, reposition it, and then I'm going to fast forward here a bit as I'm going to do the same proce procedure. Grab all these sprites and bring them into their corresponding subfolders um, inside the eye features, eye facial features, all right? So once we're done here, I'm going to hide these because we don't need to see them anymore. And I'm gonna focus on the mouth. Now for the mouth, this is a bit tricky because we have uh, more folders. We have up to 15 folders for the mouth. These correspond, uh, th th this, is, this corresponds with six uh, mouth sprites for expressions, when you start doing animations and expressions. And then the other nine are for lip syncing. Okay, so the first six are the ones that I have here. These are for facial expressions when I'm puppeteering. And then the last part here, these are the sprites I need for lip syncing. So I created these, and I have these in my template. Let me go into my template right now. And I have all my 15 mouth sprites. So I'm going to select all of them together and we need to align them, okay, just like we did before. Make sure that you have all of them selected. Uh, the mouth one, we brought that one in before. So let me align this vertically and also horizontally so that we have all of them together, bunched up in the same position. And we're gonna drag this back into the template. And I'm gonna place it right over the mouth position where it should be, right about there. I think that looks okay. Great, so then what we have to do at this point is basically the same thing we did before. I need to allocate all these sprites into their corresponding folders. So it takes a while, but you know, just have to be careful. That's why we have everything properly labeled. So I'm gonna bring the first mouth sprite for smile close, open lip, show teeth, and all the rest. So once we have the facial, the expressions for the mouth finished, I'm gonna start putting in the, one, the mouth sprites for lip syncing. And these, as I mentioned, go into their corresponding folder. Just make sure they're all inside. And we're done. So in one of the tutorials that we had, let me hide all these quickly. In one of the tutorials that we had, we were using the face layer, the original face layer, as a reference for my facial parts. Remember, these were only painted on. So this one is down here, I have it locked. So since we don't need this anymore, this is uh, the last tutorial for this part, I can delete it. So let me unlock this and delete this layer. So now we only have the original head layer, the blank head layer inside, and we're ready. So we could save this PSD template and bring it into Crazy Talk Animator 3. Let's go to Save As PSD. This is number six, I believe. Yes, and we save. And then we go into Crazy Talk Animator 3 
make sure that we are inside the composer mode. So let's go into composer and then we choose to import PSD. Now when we import, um, obviously well, we need to choose specific the options for importing. So here I'm going to choose partial update and I'm going I'm going to also select layer order. Remember that in the previous tutorial I layered uh, in the layer manager I, I layered the the nose on top of the mouth. So in order to maintain that that's why I select uh, that layer part and I'm going to select part selection for talking head. So I'm telling Crazy Talk that I'm bringing in all these different sprites for the head section. So now if I click on one of these sprites for the face, I open the sprite editor here, you can see all the sprites that we have. So for the eye, there we go, we have all of the six sprites that we brought in for the left eye. And the same thing for the right eye, all the different sprites we brought in. Okay. Likewise for the mouth, I can click on the mouth part here. Oh, let me turn off the show bone. We can see this better. And we have all six uh, expression sprites for the mouth. And then all the other nine lip syncing sprites that we need for the mouth. These are very important because once we start doing uh, lip syncing, automatic lip syncing with audio, these are going to be necessary to animate inside the timeline. All right. So I think we have our character ready. Let's go back to stage. And here, what I wish to do is that I am going to bring in an audio file so that we can animate. So I'm going to bring in an audio file so we can animate here. But before that, let me first go into Face Puppet just to show you the expressions that we have for the first six lip, uh, uh, sprites. So I'm going to choose a face control. And I'm going to preview. Okay, this is for all the normal sprites, the default sprites. But then I can choose another face control. And you can see that my character is being animated with these sprites. And I can choose different emotions. I can go through happy, scared, sad. This one here is sad. Okay, and since I have all the appropriate sprites inside, then we're going to simulate that sadness. Also have happy. Okay, so remember, these are for the first six sprites that we needed for the mouth and also the ones that we have for the eyes. Now, if I want to um, do audio lip syncing through audio uh, with my character, then it's very, very simple. I'm going to go to the left side toolbar here to text editor, and I'm going to select, um, obviously select your character, and I'm going to import uh, a script that I had. Let's see what this sounds Crazy Talk Animator has made creating 2D animation fun and easy. All right, that sounds pretty good. And the animations look Crazy good. Talk Animator has made creating 2D animation fun and easy. Great. So let me open the timeline here so that I can show you what these lip syncs look like. So what you want to do is that you want to press F3 or go down here to open the timeline and then expand the face track. Inside the face track, you're going to have three different tracks, voice clip, facial clip, and face motion. So the one, the one that I wish to focus on right now is face clip. So as soon as I open this, you can see the waveform for my audio track, along with all the lip syncs that were generated at the bottom. Crazy Talk Animator has made creating 2D animation fun and easy. So I can scroll and you can see all these lip syncs. You can see all these lip syncs being played. And I can individually select uh, one of these lip syncs, one of these Visamis, and this will automatically open the lips editor. And you can see all the sprites that we used. All right. So what if I wish to combine animations? Well, we can do that too. I can open the face puppet here, and I can preview some of these facial expressions. And if, if I'm happy with this face control, I can record on top of the audio file. So make sure your time scrub is at the beginning. Crazy Talk Animator has made creating 2D animation fun and easy. Okay. Don't worry if the lips uh, don't match with the lip syncing right now. That's because we're just recording. Crazy Talk Animator has made creating 2D animation fun and easy. Great, because once you do the playback, you'll notice that the audio lip syncing, the animation on the lips, takes priority over the face puppeteering. So it will look natural afterwards. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. We hope that you like this two-part tutorial. It's very, very useful. Um, we're going to have new, new tutorials coming up in the near future, so uh, stay, uh, stay tuned. Uh, another thing I wish to mention is that for your sprites, 
if you zoom in into your sprites here, you see that you lose resolution in the quality. So in the next tutorial, we're going to cover um, how to take care of that, how to make sure that you don't lose that quality when you zoom into the facial features of your character. All right. Thank you.